Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Pastor Mike here as we are gathering up for midday prayer. Um, um, let me know you're here. You can uh, say something in the comments. Welcome one another um, as well. And um, I'll get uh, give everybody just a few moments to gather together and together up, and then we'll begin our time together in prayer. It's a beautiful day outside. It's hard to believe that uh, should be snowing some tomorrow. Hopefully not such that it would impede our travel. We've got some things, I'm sure all of us have some things we'd like to do today, but uh, be careful out there um, and enjoy the beautiful day we that God has given us today and the snowy day we might get tomorrow. Hi, Lynn, good to see you're here um, and others as you join us would be great. Um, again, as we are going through our prayer time, um, uh, let me know if there are some folks I need to include in our prayer list. I'll be glad to do that. Uh, you can put their name in the uh, comments or the chat area, and then I'll know uh, to include them, and I'll do the very best I can to, to do that. So now we're going to begin our time together as we kind of center ourselves as the community of faith, and we breathe in the breath of God, and we breathe out our cares and our concerns, and we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our doubts and our despairs. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our fears and our frustrations. As I was uh, gathering up scripture for us this morning, um, I was really drawn, uh, I think because it's one of those times when um, I think we all need to be enveloped in God's compassionate care. Um, and so the, the words from Psalm 23 kept ringing through my mind. And so I decided that would be what we would use as our scripture time today. So here are the words of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside, beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. What a beautiful, beautiful description of the gift we have in that God is with us throughout our lives in all circumstances. Um, and I think it really is the day, uh, maybe all days, but particularly for some reason for me today is a day of leaning in to God's compassion, uh, to leaning into God's care. That's that's promised not just um, enough to get by, but in abundance. Leaning in to God's promise to shepherd and to provide again in, in abundance leaning in to God's eternal goodness and mercy that pursue us every day, that gives us strength when we need it, and I think in so many ways gives us rest when we need it. Leaning in to God's gift of accompaniment through life, life that begins when we breathe our first breath, and extends past that time when we draw our last breath in this earthly life. The presence of God is what gives life its, its purpose in so many ways. It's what breathes life into us and sustains us in all that we have to endure. And these days, um, we're enduring a lot. Um, as a world, um, our siblings in Ukraine and in um, particularly in Ukraine are enduring more than um, than perhaps we are in the moment. Um, but our hearts ache for them. Uh, we continue to pray that um, for their safety, 
um, for those uh, who are fleeing, that they may have um, a safe uh, journey. Uh, for those who are staying, that they may stay as safe as they can. Um, and we also pray for the, the for the aggressors that they would experience a change of heart and retreat. Um, you know, uh, when we, I think when we lean into compassion, um, I think we lean into the God that is implanted in our very being, uh, the God in in whose image we are made, or that God is a compassionate God who loves us through life and into life eternal. Here are folks from Camp Hill as they sing about compassion and about the gift that is in our lives. Uh, again, if you have folks to add to the prayer list, please put the, their names in the comments during this time, and I'll be glad to add them in. And then we'll get back together after the song and pray together um, and receive blessing. So here are our friends from Camp Hill.
absolutely beautiful and life-giving. Amen. And now let us pray. O oh God of compassion, um, we first give you thanks for the compassion that you have shown to your people. It is a compassion that is overflowing in your grace and in your mercy and in your goodness. Help us, O oh God, to continually give you thanks and praise for the gift of that love and that grace. And have, help us too, God, to share the same compassion that we have received from you with everyone in your world. We pray, God, for your healing presence um, to be with those who suffer in so many ways. Specifically, we're going to name some folks aloud, and then we're going to name some folks even in our hearts. So hear those names and surround them with your healing peace. So we pray for Amy, Betty Rosenthal. Judy Kelly, Robert Simpson, Carol Darian, Lori Sheridan and family, Nelia, Jan Shank, Ron, Gretchen Sanders, Kathy, Margaret Folkemer, Laura Dareth, Terry, Ben Lehman, Howard Fales, Rebecca Neal, Jeff, Glenn Hardesty, Connie and Herb Koss, McKenna Day, Barbara Dareth, Jane Cox, Lauren Mueller, Woody and Charlotte Wallach, Sabrina, Delvia Goodrich, Sean Fitzsimmons, Mia Zinnan family, Trent, Donna, Dave, and Nancy, Lynn Smith, Jared and Samantha, Linda Heitzelman, Peggy Helwig, and those we name aloud are silently in our hearts at this time. Lynn, Pastor Kelly, Pastor Tanika. Pastor Charlene, God, your compassion extends through this life and into life eternal. It is that gift of life eternal, that resurrection hope that we have through your son, Jesus, that comforts us when we grieve. And God, I ask that that hope surround and enfold all those who are um, who are grieving the death of family and friends this day, specifically the family and friends of Donna Bacon on her death and the family and friends of Gail Heichel on the death of her mother, Jenny uh, Jester. God, you are a God of peace. You are a God who relentlessly pursues that peace. Protect our siblings in Ukraine. Give safe passage to those who are fleeing. Give protection to those who are hunkered down underground. Support those who are fighting. Change the hearts of the oppressors and the aggressors. Have them retreat. Bring about a peaceful solution to this life-threatening problem. Surround all with your prayers, with our prayers, and with your love. And now, God, we join together and we pray the words that our Lord Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now before we take a breath again, um, hear these words from Psalm 31, which um, have been kind of echoing in all of our minds, I think, um, and, uh, and across the world uh, in support of our siblings in Ukraine. In you, O oh Lord, I seek refuge. Do not, do not let me be, ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. 
Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for in you are my refuge. In your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Now we breathe in the breath of God, and we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. And we breathe in the love of God, and we breathe out our haste and our apprehensions. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our work and our worry. And now as we end our time this week, uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, hope to see some of you on at Sunday, uh, on, on Sunday at worship, uh, 930. Um, remember, Sunday begins mask optional in the building. So see you there. Um, and then we'll see you for midday prayer. Pastor Tamika will be with you Monday and Wednesday of next week. I'll be with you on Friday. And until then, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. God bless. Have a great rest of your Friday and a great weekend.